The tenth brightest star in the night sky, Betelgeuse, is giving scientists more trouble. It's 250 times brighter this time. Some people are asking if Betelgeuse supernova is about to happen because the star is getting brighter. We would be about 724 light years away from the event, so we wouldn't be touched. But we would be able to see the incredible flash it would make, and it would be an amazing event for sure. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's video we'll talk about the sudden increase in brightness of Betelgeuse as revealed by NASA and all that could result from this. Let's get started! Betelgeuse is one of the largest and most noticeable stars you can see at night. Lately, it's been acting in a strange way. There have been reports that a supernova is about to happen because the star has been getting brighter for no clear reason. This well-known red star in the constellation Orion surprised scientists when, in late 2019 and early 2020, it went through this strange great dimming event and got darker than it's been in over a century. This star in Orion is about 650 light years from Earth. Betelgeuse Status, a Twitter account that keeps track of the star's behavior and changes, says that the star's brightness has recently risen to almost 250% of what was thought to be its usual level. At the beginning of April, this changed. Both the great dimming and the sudden increase in light have led to talk about the star's possible violent death. How much, though, does this idea have any hard evidence to back it up? And maybe even more important, what would happen to Earth after such an explosion? If Betelgeuse had a supernova explosion, it would be the closest one in more than 400 years according to Space.com. It would be so bright that you could see it during the day. Even so, some scientists are less sure that a supernova will happen. Professor of Astrophysics at University of Manchester, Albert Zylstra, wrote in a paper that Betelgeuse is a variable star. Variable stars, like the well-known Mira, have their brightness change over time because they pulse. Most stars, on the other hand, have a constant brightness. Even though no one knows why Betelgeuse got so much brighter, Zylstra doesn't think it was because of a supernova. He said that supernova blasts happen in the cores of stars, while changes in brightness happen on the surface. Also, Betelgeuse's previous fading could have been caused by the same dust cloud that is now making it shine brightly. This cloud might be reflecting stars right now, which makes it look brighter. Still, there's a lot of uncertainty and scientists are keeping a close eye on the situation. It's thought that Betelgeuse, which has 15 to 20 times the mass of the sun, will end its life in a huge supernova explosion. Its red color shows that it's a red supergiant that's nearing the end of its life. But no one knows what will happen in the end. At some point, the star Betelgeuse will explode as a supernova. Then it could get as bright as a full moon and be easy to see during the day. But when is Betelgeuse going to explode? The answer has been perhaps today, maybe a thousand years from now. A new study came out in June says that Betelgeuse will go supernova in tens of years instead of thousands of years. The paper is mostly about the idea of stellar nucleosynthesis, which is how stars get their light. Inside stars, simple atoms join together to make more complicated atoms, which gives off energy. When a star's nuclear fuel runs out, this is called a supernova. Experts say that Betelgeuse could be a good candidate for the next galactic supernova. The first author is Hideyuki Sayo, who works at the Astronomical Institute Graduate School of Science at Tohoku University. Let's get something straight. The past of looking for supernovas in our own Milky Way galaxy is not clear. We'd be lucky to see any supernova in our lives, let alone one as close as Betelgeuse. And Betelgeuse going to blow up tens of thousands of years from now? That's a great idea that makes everyone talk about it. When hydrogen fusion happens inside a star, it gives off light. Simply put, they mix simple elements like hydrogen to make more difficult ones like helium and get energy out of the process. As big stars eight or more solar masses get older, the simplest fuels run out, but they slowly use up more complicated fuels until their cores are made of iron. Then the nuclear bomb stops going off. When fusion stops, the high temperatures in the center of a star drop. Because of this, the huge forces inside the star also drop. The star is starting to fall apart. It falls apart and then a spectacular supernova explosion happens. Big stars like Betelgeuse explode as type 2 supernovae when they run out of fuel. They fall apart quickly and explode in a striking way, so when a star bursts depends on what's happening inside it, how much fuel it still has, and how close it is to falling apart. 
On Friday, June 2nd, 2023, Universe Today ran a great story about Betelgeuse that talked about some of the science that goes into figuring out if Betelgeuse is about to blow up or not. The author said that the next part of the study hasn't gotten as much attention. The researchers wrote, in fact, it is not possible to determine the exact evolutionary stage because surface conditions hardly change in the late stage close to the carbon exhaustion and beyond. Astronomers can only see what's on the outside of a star, but what's going on inside tells the story. The writer's observations, data, and models show that Betelgeuse may explode sooner than was thought before. But, and this is important, they don't know what stage the star's carbon-burning core is in. Some models that fit the facts say that carbon burning could keep going on for a long time. So we're pretty much back at the beginning. Tomorrow, Betelgeuse could go boom. It could go off in tens of years, or it could go off in a thousand years. But why did Betelgeuse dim in 2019? When Betelgeuse started to dim a lot in late 2019, it caught the attention of people all over the world. This is now called the Great Dimming of Betelgeuse by scientists. Many people thought and hoped that the big event, which would be the explosion of this local star, was coming up soon. Even though Betelgeuse has become brighter, then darker, then brighter again, and so on, it hasn't exploded yet. So what made it dim? After looking at data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and many other telescopes, astronomers came to the conclusion that the bright red supergiant star Betelgeuse nearly blew its stop in 2019. A big surface mass ejection, or SME, happened when Betelgeuse lost a lot of its visible surface. This kind of behavior from a star has never been seen before. A coronal mass ejection, or CME, is when parts of the sun's upper atmosphere, called the corona, are ripped off. But the Betelgeuse SME threw out 400 billion times as much mass as a normal CME. So the great dimming of Betelgeuse in 2019 was probably caused by a cloud of hot gas that the star shot out, which briefly blocked some of the light from the star. Another question that arises is, will its supernova destroy Earth? When Betelgeuse blows up, it will be too far away from Earth for the explosion to hurt or even kill life here. Research shows that a supernova couldn't hurt us unless we were within 160 light years of it, and Betelgeuse might be four times farther away. Instead, when Betelgeuse bursts, everyone on Earth will see a very, very, very bright star in the night sky. Astronomers will be thrilled to be so close to Betelgeuse when it blows up. After the star has gone supernova, they'll be able to study it. In the meantime, the explosion will be fun for amateur scientists and casual stargazers. Many people will be sad they can no longer see Betelgeuse as Orion's bright red star. That's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and comment down your thoughts on this, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.